Hi everybody, welcome to today's episode of Learn This Deck with the brilliant, brilliant Dreaming Way Tarot. And the first, the card that we're going to look at today is the card number 11 from the Major Arcana, which is Justice. So, let's look at the image of the card here. And the first thing we see in the background is this really cute wallpapery background, which has flowers maybe in it. But really nothing much going on there. So let's just move on to the next part. And I think this is a feature, uh, it's a common feature with many of the cards in this deck, I think. So that's okay. That's okay. That's how the theme is, I guess. And so moving to the next part, which is the person. So I guess by sort of not showing much going on in the background, they're trying to bring the emphasis to the main uh you know, the, the, the significant or the important thing that's going on in the card image, which is the person. And in this case, in the case of this card, we have a, a young girl. She is wearing a white dress and in one hand she holds a pair of scales and in the other she holds a sword. And if you notice, if you look clear, uh, closely, she is also blindfolded, right? So these are the basic symbols of this particular image. The pair of scales clearly represents balance because that's what scales do. They weigh things and they bring stuff in balance. The sword in this in this card, the sword is the sword of action, I believe, because although this sword can be connected to the suit symbol of sword, which is all about logic and mental processes, in, in the case of this particular deck, it can also talk about being sort of, you know, gearing up for action or something to that effect. So that's what the sword is all about. But it's the blindfold that sort of caught my attention because this is a big difference from the traditional rider weight picture of the Justice card where the figure in the Justice card does not wear a blindfold. But this uh, figure here is wearing one. And blindfolds are very interesting in terms of symbols because they cover your eyes. So it, it can signify various things, again, depending on how you intuitively feel when you open the card. It can mean, A, uh, that this person does not want to see what's ahead of her. Or B, this person cannot see what's ahead of her. So there's a, a slight sort of dis difference there. But either way, this person is unable to see what's ahead. So that can also bring in maybe a little bit of detachment in the picture perhaps or it can bring in ignorance in the picture so there's two angles to this story really with the blindfold and so the interpretation goes you know can swing either way depending on how you intuitively feel when you open the card so let's look at what the lwb has to say and here are the words from that lwb uh, you know write-up that stood out for me the scales of impartial equality and divine balance. So that's what those scales really are sort of depicting, impartial equality. And uh, it's also a divine balance. The double-edged sword means one should apply same standards to others. So this sword here is not just about action or about logic or mental processes. This is about... Uh, having you know because it's a double-edged sword so that means that you know the same rules that apply to you should also apply to others or the same rules that apply to others should also apply to you so you cannot judge yourself by a different yardstick that's what it's, it's essentially all about and then it, it says setting a course for decisive action after carefully weighing all the facts so it, it, it's it's kind of back to what I felt when I look at this card. It's like, you know, you have to, and in this card, and this is the energy that's always often come to me during readings as well, that when you look at the Justice card, you are somewhere gearing yourself up for the action that you have to take after you've arrived at the decision. So, with all of this in mind, what are the keywords? Upright, this card can talk about balance, it can talk about a decision that you've arrived at after you weighed all the pros and cons with that balance there. It also talks about a detached decision. So you're not emotional or you're not mentally sort of confused 
why you're taking this decision you're clear that that could also link to the blindfold there you know so so that blindfold brings about that detachment perhaps and then of course there's the will to act upon the decision that you have taken okay so but what happens when you take this card and you reverse it what happens what are the keywords that that have come up as you see with the image now um, imagine, you know, if you were, this is not just a very static image, but it's a fluid image. So, un, you know, in the reverse, the pair of scales is going to be an imbalance, right? So, that that's the first keyword, <laughs> imbalance. Uh, it could also signify that this person is unable to arrive at any sort of decision because of that imbalance, obviously. she This person is unable to weigh the pros and cons and, you know, make up his or her mind. Uh, this could also signify, you know, that the person is confused mentally and emotionally because maybe the blindfold comes off, right? Or, and this also comes up in readings many times for me, that the decision is already taken, but you are not willing to act upon that decision because something holds you back. So that is something worth examining if such is a situation and you pull out the justice card reversed in, in your personal readings, right? What is it that's not uh, allowing you to act upon the decision that you have taken? So what is the card story, right? Again, I put myself in the position of that young girl and as I was writing and these were the words that came up. Sometimes it is better that I'm not able to see the past, present or the future while I decide. So basically the blindfold is now preventing me from seeing the past, present and the future. So I'm here and now, right? This way I can be fair and precise and take the right decision without getting confused or emotional. It is hard to find that sweet spot that is correct and right and fair. But this way I come closer and closer to the truth every day. And then once I've made up my mind, I'm all ready to take action too. Isn't that great? So ultimately, I guess it, it all came back to the blindfold for me, uh, you know, which, like I said, it, it blocked out the past, present or the future in, 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 in this particular you know, story. And as, because so then she's here and now, you know, in that moment, and she is trying to be fair and she's fine, correct and right and all of that. And it, that it, it makes it really hard to take that sort of decision. But every day as she practices, as she, as she spends time, she's getting closer and closer and closer to the truth. And I guess this, this card is, is very intense. In, in, as I wrote the story, I felt that intensity. I've never really felt the intensity of this card so much before, which is very interesting to me personally. So yeah, it's interesting. What is your card story? What is your journal entry? What is your, uh, you know, keywords? Go ahead, share it on the internet, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, you know, share your journal entry pictures or just share the card pictures, whatever, but tag it with the hashtag learn this deck. You can even add the hashtags for the name of the card and the name of the deck or even hashtag it directly speaking either way hashtag it so we can find each other and like each other's pictures and journal entries and whatever and and you know keywords and so together all of us can get together and essentially learn this stick all right i will see you guys tomorrow with the next card which will be i believe hangman yes <laughs> meanwhile be good stay good and learn this day bye now